Tinted Tube. Horse 14 T here, and today I am going to do a NIF tutorial on how to fix mods that have issues like this. Now, textualist models can be caused by several different things, but this one in particular is very screwy in the way that it achieved this texture, this lack of texture. And I already, I already have a fixed version of this, but I decided to do it again for the sake of educating other people on how to fix a similar texture issue like this. But in order to do that, first we need to exit the game. And then we need to go and open the Z2F, which is, in this case, a Majungasaurus. Um, I do not remember who made this particular dinosaur. I will splash up something with the creator on it. Now, from in this case, this one is not just a mismatch of naming any XMLs or anything. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the folder here and drag it out onto my desktop just like that so this way I can view all of the files with the textures and I'm going to open adult f nif here with uh, nif scope uh, 2.0 and as you can see it functions just fine here uh, but so why is it textualist? Well, it can be caused by a couple of different things. For example, in this case, the uh, DDS uh, texture name may not match the texture name in here. In this case, it does, aside from capitals. Uh, but just to be safe, I'm going to simply make sure that all the, the name matches perfectly, including the caps. Uh, so that's the first thing I tried, and that didn't work. So it's like, okay, that's a little weird. So I decided, oh, it has to be the material. And the material is this little paint thing. And uh, if I go into the original NIF, go to AI, now if I go into Majungasaurus adult F XML, it should give me, yes, the materials here. So here's the material, and what I'm looking for is this right here, Majungasaurus adult F. So I'm going to copy that, and go into here, and you can see that it was never renamed, so we're going to just do this. And I'm going to rename the teeth as well. In this case, it's a TGA. It doesn't matter because we know that it works from testing it in the game. And that should be it. So we're going to save. And we're going to open up the folder here in the Z2F and we're going to replace the old model with the new one. So adult F should be updated to 2022 instead of 2007. So we're going to open up the game and see how that works. Now normally, under normal circumstances, those steps that we just took would have fixed at least the female model. But in this case, it didn't. Okay, so why? If everything looks fine, then why is it still white? So we're going to exit again. And we see that it is indeed updated. And it is indeed in my Zootycoon folder of which I launched. So that's weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Majungasaurus again. 
Make sure that everything's saved. Yep, everything looks right. Now, what I found when trying to fix this was that if I click on the model here and I go into texturing property, I see that it has this little thing here, decal texture, and it's clicked on yes. And that means that the game is trying to find a blinking texture that does not exist. So now, let's just try and say no, it doesn't have a decal texture at all. Do a little refresh arrows, foul, save. Now let's see how that works in the game. Again, you should see that the file is updated like this. And let's watch the game and see if that simple thing fixed it. And there we go. It's all fixed. Unfortunately, the animal will not have blinking if, the te if there is no blinking texture. And I could show you how to do that right now as we do the mail. So we're going to go Madrugosaurus Adult M, which is this nice green one here. And we're just going to repeat the steps. Make sure this is the same as in the XMLs. In this case, this will be oops, in the, it should be in the Adult M XML. For this one, so we're going to open that and see what the material is. Ah, the material is the same as the adult female, so we're copying that. Close tester adult M to the jungle source adult F, and the jungle source again. The the game can be uh, case sensitive, but in this case, it shouldn't be. Uh, but I do that just to make sure that it all works. So now we're going to go find the texture property. And we're going to take the decal texture over here and click no. Just double click it. Refresh arrows. File. Save. That's the normal step uh, to get this fixed. So, oops, almost put it in the wrong folder. There we go. And now we should have a working uh, male, Madrungosaurus. So we got the working female here. And now we see that the male here. It starts off with the female texture, but winds up with the male texture. That would be because of them sharing the same material. And we can very easily fix that. Close all these. Adult them. By simply going to the material here and switch it to an M, save, and replace. And then we have to go into the male AI and we have to change all of the material names to adult M. I know. And replace all. Okay. Sorry for the loud thing there. And that should be it. Save. Okay. And make sure that the male is also set. So the male is using the wrong, the super male is using the wrong BFM. We we'll want it to use the M. So we're going to save that. Yes. And now we're going to launch the game and do some testing. So this 
here suggests that it wasn't a material issue at all. It may be have to doing the, it may have something to do with the BFM. So we go find the mail BFM here. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. It uses the female model. What we do is just type that in. Scroll all the way down past all these animations. And go to graph name and change this to M. And then we simply save that. Yes. Then we launch the game again and see if it works. So we plop down the female here. And if we go to male, and it's green! And it stays green. And that's how I fixed uh, the Majunga source. I did go the extra mile to add blinking to Majunga, which we can do. If I go into the texture property, Yes, and then this has to be done in 2.0, and on this little plus sign, source texture, and it should open a new one. I had to click off it in order to get the little cog to show up. The little cog, tiger blink. Now we get this, but that's okay, we want that. So save, and now we have to open with and open it with 1.1.3 and it should have the texture model because I didn't uh, shorten it texture, edit UV select everything and duplicate make sure, it's on, make sure the base texture is on 0 and that decal texture is on 1 And go back to base texture and should auto swap between the two. Yep, that means it's all set up properly. So if I'll save as, we can just overwrite that. Close that. Open. Because I, like, I prefer to do the UV in here. So what I did was. I right click on the model, texture, edit UV, and in this case I'm going to take this little app called Disk Pins, and I'm going to click on it, pin this. This will keep the texture on top, so if I click on something, I, it doesn't disappear. So I'm going to select the decal texture, and I'm going to select everything here. And I'm going to go to scale, zero, and scales everything to zero, except for the eye part. And the eye part goes here, and I'm going to scale that, I'm going to scale that to eight in this case. And I could just leave it like that, but I like to play with it to make it match the eye more. Don't want that, so that's about my limit right there. And close. And there we go. And now we can... Oh, and make sure that the name doesn't have your directory, just tigerblink.dds. It may disappear, that's okay. File, save, and then file, reload, and it should be fine. And put it in. And we should see if uh, the female blinks now. And look at that, the female does indeed have the blinking texture on it. But as you can see, once we place it down, she does not blink at all. This will be because so she is missing the blinking coding in the main XML. 
So we're going to exit here. And we're going to go in here, go to AI, in this case, Majugasaurus.f. Now, normally this might be in the normal main XML for the whole animal, but in this case, it's in adult F. So what I want to do is I want to find an animal that has blinking. Uh, let's say uh, the Ankylosaurus, for example. And we scroll down and I see the texture cycle component right here. And I'm just going to copy all this. Copy. And just under the BFM, make sure it's not between the, the little brackets here. We don't want that. And it's just underneath here. V. Control V. And then we replace the material name with the Majungasaurus material name. And that should be it. If you want to get all fancy, you can fix the spacing here, but I don't feel like it. And make sure that this is Tiger. Replace all. Okay. And save. Yes. Now let's see if she blinks now. So we have her here, and blink, and she indeed does blink, and she's going to walk around apparently. Oh, nope, she's running. I can't, I can't go out there. But yeah, she indeed blinks just fine. And we have also the male with no blinking. That works as well. And that's all that was needed to fix to fix the Majungasaurus. I did go the extra mile in cleaning up the NIF because it has a lot of leftover stuff. Uh, like the load controller here doesn't need to be here. If I check this, you can see that the loads are uh, the Dino Danger Pack Tyrannosaurus, uh, which those don't even load, so there's no point in them being there. But that was the basic uh, steps I took to fixing just the texture on the Majungasaurus by uh, the creator that will be on screen here. So if you got any questions or need any more help, please let me know, and I will see you later.